On February 23rd, 2008, the military world witnessed a tragic first when a B-2 Spirit stealth bomber, known as the Spirit of Kansas, crashed shortly after takeoff from Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. Operated by the 393rd Bomb Squadron of the 509th Bomb Wing, this aircraft had an impressive history, logging over 5,100 flight hours. The B-2, renowned for its cutting-edge technology and stealth capabilities, had become a vital asset in the U.S. Air Force's arsenal. However, on that fateful day, the first-ever crash of a B-2 would alter perceptions and invoke a thorough investigation into the aircraft's operational protocols. As the B-2 ascended into the skies, disaster struck when heavy rains led to water entering the crucial air data sensors. This malfunction caused a cascade of errors in the flight control systems, resulting in the aircraft rotating at a dangerously low speed, 12 knots slower than necessary. As the crew struggled to maintain control, the sensors registered an incorrect negative angle of attack, triggering an uncommanded 30-degree pitch-up maneuver. Recognizing the imminent danger, the two-officer crew made the heroic decision to eject, narrowly escaping as the bomber plummeted to the ground, ultimately resulting in a catastrophic fireball. Fortunately, both pilots survived the harrowing experience. One was released from the hospital, while the other received further medical attention. In the wake of the crash, all B-2 operations were suspended for a safety pause to reassess and improve protocols. The investigation revealed the critical role of maintenance accuracy and environmental factors in the aircraft's failure. Following thorough scrutiny, the B-2 fleet was cleared to resume flying operations on April 15, 2008. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the complexities of advanced military technology and the importance of stringent safety measures in aviation.